Sean? Sean? Uh, uh. Oh, Lord. Get out of there. Oh, Lord. Ain't nothing much we can do, Newt. He's been bit too many times. No. Here you, snake bit. I don't think so. I think I whooped him off. Get your clothes off. Jasper, give him a good look. One of them might have bit him down low. Yeah. He must have struck a nest. I've crossed this river a hundred times in my life and never seen more than a snake or two at a time. The storm must have got him stirred up. Only Juana wants to go back home to Ireland. Yes, I expect he did. Well, I don't see no bites. Sean? Sean. I'd have known that storm was going to stir the snakes up. I'd have picked another place to cross. Wasn't your fault, Deech. Life is short, shorter for some than others. Sean here was just an unlucky young sprout, that's all. It's nobody's fault, nobody's. One well, of you boys best go find his brother, I reckon. Sang or something. Go on and do it. Sleep, oh babe, for the ready home of Tyven. I'll say a word, just a word here. This was a good, brave boy here. He had a fine tenor voice, and we'll all miss that. His accidents in life, and he met with a bad one. Now, we may all do the same if we ain't careful. Dust to dust. Now, let's the rest of us go on to Montana. He's right, boys. Best thing you can do with death is ride off from it. Sean was the babe of our family. I wish I could have finished a song for him. It was his favorite. Maybe you'll ride with me a while, Newt. Sure. Old ball won't cross. Yeah. Now, he don't want no part of it after what happened to Sean here. He wants to be back in Lonesome yeah. Dove where he can be close to his wife and daughter, so hell, I, I gave him a horse. Adios, you old bandit. You can go whack that darn bell all you like now. Well, we're gonna need a new car. I got you, Cooper. It's a bad start. My name's Roscoe Brown. 
Is, is this Texas? I, I'm looking for a fella. May have rode past here. His name's July Johnson. He had a boy with him about ye yay high. I've been riding night and day trying to find him. I'm from Arkansas. Got any whiskey? Yes, sir. I got a bottle right here in my poke. I'd be glad for you to share it if you want to. Come get this barman, gal. You having possum for your supper, are you? Uh, but you ain't. Unless you go catch your own. I got a biscuit. Cook that possum, like I said. About this man that I was looking for. I ain't seen him. You fixing to stay the night? Yes, sir, if it's all right. I've been riding real hard. Well, you can sleep down yonder by the creek. Well, thank you. You leave that gal alone. She's mine. Bought and paid for. Sure. somebody's out there in the brush, you just as well come on out and show yourself. You? I run off from old Sam to go with you. Go with me? What? <laughs> Girl, you, you can't go with me. Jamie's my name. Old Sam used me bad. I ain't really his anyway. He just traded some skunk pelts for me. And I expect he's looking for you right now. Nope. No? Why not, pray tell? Because I broke his knees with a pan this morning while he was still sleeping. That'll keep him a few days. Goodness. You're a rough customer, ain't you? I ain't rough. Old Sam was rough. Well, you can't go with me. I'm headed down toward San Antonio to find a man. I seen that man you're looking for two days ago when he come through here. Him and the boy both. Which way to go? I ain't telling you unless you take me with you. Well, girl, I, I, I can't take you with me. I got to travel fast. You call this fast traveling? I've been following you six miles and didn't ever do more than walk. I can keep up with you, I reckon. And I can catch rabbits and possums to eat, too. Possum? I'm gonna follow you anyway. If I was to go back, old Sam would kill me. 
Yeah, I expect he would. Well, you might just well jump on up here then. Which way? They was riding that way yonder. His wife run off from him. That's why I got to find him. I've been waiting long enough. Buffalo tongue. Ain't that something? You got a buffalo tongue. You're the one can eat it, too. Who is that? Luke. Luke? Luke. What are you doing in this wagon? Me and Biggs Way partnered up. Partnered up? We're going to Ogallala. You ain't scared of Indians, huh? Well, I don't like them much, I guess. I already killed five of them. Won't bother me none to kill some more. Well, might not hurt for you to come along at that. You'd be glad of it. If the Indians get after you. Big Way told me he was gonna marry you. He did, huh? He ain't as bad as some. How would you know? You ain't never been married to him, have you? <laughs> Big Way, he ain't a man to be put off. You know it. I'm already married. I doubt he even knows what the word means, anyhow. I know what it means. lucky with the weather. It has been clear. No sign of Jake Spoon yet, but we did cross the Red River and are in Texas now. Little Joe likes it. His horse has been behaving all right and neither of us has been sick. I hope that you are well and have not been bothered too much by the Skeeters. Your loving husband, July. Well, what do you think? It's a long letter. You want me to write something on the bottom of it for you? You sure? Maybe put your name? She'll like it all right without nothing from me. Well, we'll post it when we get to Fort Worth. I know I'm slowing you down. But I'm glad you brought me on this trip. Yeah, me too, Joe. <laughs> so the town sure has grown since the last time I was here. Darn people making towns everywhere. And it's our fault, too. Our fault? Well, we chased out the Indians, didn't we? Hung all the good bandits. Has it ever occurred to you that everything we'd done was a mistake? Me and you done our work too well, Woodrow. How we killed off most of the people who made this country interesting to begin with, didn't we? 
nobody in their right mind that wants the Indians back. They're the bandits, neither one. Hell fire. Uh, we'll go if you like civilization so much. What are we doing riding off to the wilds of Montana? We ain't riding off to the wilds of Montana right now. If you'll recall, we're in San Antonio looking for a cook. Buenos días. Got it. We're taking a herd of cattle up to Montana and lost our cook. Yes, I go with you. My name is Paul Campo. Can you cook? Our boys is awful particular. Try one of these. I fried them only this morning. Dang, that's tasty. Some kind of candy? Grasshopper. Grasshopper. Kind of good though, ain't they? <laughs> oh. Our boys ain't gonna take much to eat and bug. I cook good steak too. And bird egg pie. Just one minute, I'd be ready to go with you. Well, hang on there a minute. You ain't gonna get off down the trail a mile or two and go to missing your wife or something like our last cook done, are you? My wife is in hell where I sent her. She could make good biscuits, but her behavior was terrible. I think this is our man. Well, we need a cook. Right. I'll go up the street and buy you a horse. No. I will walk. I do not ride animals. What do you mean you don't ride animals? It is not civilized. Are we not animals also? How would you like it if somebody rode you? <laughs> what I like about the man, he's a philosopher. Oh, yeah. I hired him to give you somebody to talk to. That'll free the rest of us up, maybe. We'll get a little work done. I like a shot of whiskey, and so would my companion. It ain't too much trouble. Uh, Howdy, boy, you got a good game going there? <laughs> Who the hell's that? You got mud in your ears or what? Rye or what'll it be, old timer? Well, rye will do, provided it gets here quick. You darn cowboys ought to broom yourselves off before you walk in here. Get all the sand we need without the customers bringing it in. That'll be a dollar. Now, besides the whiskey, I think we'll require a little respect. Now, I'm Captain Augustus McCray. This is Captain Woodrow F. Call. Now, if you care to turn around, you can see how we looked when we was younger and the people around here wanted to make us senators. Now, the thing we didn't put up with then was dawdling service. And as you can see, we still don't put up with it. I could have a fresh glass, please. You just broke my nose, you old son of a Well, here's to the sunny slopes. Long ago. I wonder what ever happened to Wee Willie Montgomery. You didn't have to whack the bartender to get a drink when he owned that saloon. You're just mad because they didn't know who you was. 
<laughs> You're lucky they didn't throw you to jail. Well, ain't much of a crime whacking a surly bartender. I guess they may have forgot us, though. Well, why wouldn't they forget us? Hadn't been around here in years. No, the reason is we never got killed. That's why they forgot us. That is a dang foolish thing to say. No, it ain't. If a thousand Comanches are cornered us in a gully somewhere and wiped us out like the Sioux just done Custer, why, they'd remember us sure. Hell, they'd be writing songs about us for a hundred years. Hell, there never was a thousand Comanches one much in the whole world, you know it. That ain't the point, Woodrow. What is it, then? Another 20 years, we'll be the Indians. They'll be trying to stick us on the reservation just to get us out of the way. <laughs> I'd say that's dang unlikely. Well, maybe you're right. I reckon I am. Well, I, I, I doubt we'll last another 20 years. Gus? Now, where in the hell is he going? hell has come over you, Augustus. I doubt you'd understand. I doubt it, too. When was you the happiest, Carl? Happiest about what? About just being a live human being, free on the earth. Well, I don't know. It'd be hard to sing loud any one particular time. Well, it ain't for me. I was the happiest. Brought to you by this little creep. Me and Claire discovered it one day when we was out for a buggy ride. I might have known it had something to do with Claire. That was a long time ago now. Beautiful. I expect it was a mistake of my life. Letting her slip away like I did. <laughs> well, you've always got your whores. Yeah, I guess I do. <laughs> I don't know why you sit down on whores, Woodrow. You've had yours, as I recall. Yeah, and that was the worst mistake I ever made. It ain't a mistake to have been a human being once in your life, Woodrow. Poor little old Maggie. Left you a fine son before she quit this world. Now, you don't know that. That boy could be yours or Jake's or some damn gambler. Yeah, but he ain't. He's yours. Now, anybody with a good eye can see it. Besides, Maggie told me. We were good friends. <laughs> I don't know about friends. I'm sure you was a good customer, though. Well, the two can't overlap, you know. You're the one that didn't know about overlapping with whores already. You know what hurt her most? You wouldn't call her by name. You never would say Maggie. That's what hurt her most. I don't know what it amounted to if I had. It would have made her happy. What are you talking about? She's a whore. Well, whores got hearts, Woodrow, and Maggie's was the most tender I ever saw. Well, why didn't you marry her then? She didn't love me. She loved you. You should have seen how she sat in that saloon every day watching the door after you quit coming around. I reckon the man has got more to do than to sit in a saloon with a whore. It's like what? Go down the river every night and clean his gun? Maggie needed you. You let her down. You know it, too, don't you? No, I don't know anything of the dang kind. And that's why you won't claim that boy as your own, because he's a reminder, see? A living reminder that you failed somebody. And you ain't never going to be up to admitting that. Now are you? Like I said, Maggie was just a whore. Well, I got Woodrow. At least you finally called her by name. I guess that shows some improvement now, don't it? You 
sure you don't want none of this prairie chicken? I ain't enough. I might catch you a frog for supper. Frog? I ain't never eat no frog. Their legs jump out of the pan when you cook them. <laughs> no. Yes, they do. <laughs> you gotta catch them and throw them back in the pan. No, I don't believe that. How can a dead frog jump out of a pan? <laughs> What's the matter? Hey! Where are you going? Howdy. 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 I wonder if we could borrow some tobacco off of you. I ain't got none. Ain't got none? No, sir. I reckon you're lying. Well, no, I ain't neither. Why would a man travel with nothing to smoke? Because it never agreed with me. That's why I had to give it up. Well, we might have to smoke you. <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> my, my, my name's Roscoe Brown. I, I'm, I'm just going down this road. I ain't looking for no trouble. You're just going down this road here, huh? Yes, sir. Let's shoot him and take his horse. All right. Drop your gun. Now, 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 wait just a minute here. Yes, sir. Now, clamber down off that horse, mister. Uh, I, I'm from Arkansas. Yes, sir. Strip off them duds. What? You come into this world naked. I reckon you can go out the same way. <laughs> I, I, I got some money. There's probably... Thirty dollars here. By oh, God, I'm gonna pull this trigger on you for your son. Oh! Is somebody shooting? Ow! Why, it's a stamina old girl! She's done all the rock chunking she's gonna do. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that stick, mister? I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> well, that little gal pretty near chucked you to death. She'll get hers before this day's through. I'm gonna give her a bullet for every rock she throws. Uh, well, shoot this one first. I don't want to tear up his clothes with my 10 gauge. Put it down! July! Name you doing in Texas? I come for you, July. <laughs> it's a lucky thing I found you too. <laughs> Who was that chunking them rocks? Oh, that is Janie. Janie, you can come on out now. July's here. He's the man I've been looking for. Oh my God, on a whiskey boat. Well, that's what Peach thinks. It just don't make no sense for Ellie to go running off like that. It don't make no sense at all, does it, Joe? Mama always been like that. She never liked to stay in one place too long. You got any idea where she might have gone? Maybe to go find D. D. You mean your pa? D. Boot. 
Well, but Ellie told me he died of the smallpox over in Dodge. Joe? Joe, I don't reckon she'd lie to me. They never had no smallpox. Mama just married you when they ran out of money. They, they something else, July. Ellie's gonna have a baby. Pete seen her with the morning sickness. A baby? to be bringing you this news, July. But I thought you'd want to know. Joe? Yes, sir? Where would she go to find Dee? He was up to Ogallala, last we heard. Ogallala. We better go find her, I guess. What about Jake Spoon? I can't worry about him no more. Ellie might be needing me. Oh, Galala. Howdy. I'm Joe. That's Janie. She's shy, but it don't last long. You ever eat a frog? Lori rested by a tree. I bet Jake's gone off to gamble somewhere and left her behind. Well, all I see is a puff of smoke. I think I'll ride on down there and keep her company till that scamp gets back. Well, we got a herd of cattle to look after. Oh, what's keeping you? How long has Jake been gone? Two days. Went up to Austin to play some cards. He left mad. Seems like he's been mad the whole trip. Well, he'll be back. Yes, I know he will. He ain't gonna take me to California, though. Nope. Don't be too hard on him. He got you out of Lonesome Dove anyway, see? At least I didn't get all down like this when I was in Lonesome Dove. That's because back there you was never expecting nothing. And then here comes Jake. Get you all full of hope. Trouble is, Jake ain't a man to support nobody's hopes but his own. Huh? What'd you stop off for? Well, such a nice day, I thought I'd just ride over and... We'd cut the cards or something. <laughs> yeah, what do I get if I win this time? Well, I'll be your whore. You can have a poke on demand. Why would I want one? All right, then, if you win, you can pretend you're a fancy lady in San Francisco, and I'll bring you a glass of buttermilk. 
I don't even like buttermilk, girl. Well, what then? You know. So I want to go to San Francisco. That's what I want. Uh, Lori, listen to me, listen to me now, pretty little thing. You see, life in San Francisco is still just life. Now, if you want only one thing too much, it's likely to turn out a disappointment. Now, the only healthy way to live, as I see it, is to learn to like all the little everyday things. Yeah, like what? Like a sip of good whiskey of an evening, or a soft bed, or a glass of buttermilk, or say, uh, a feisty gentleman like myself. Now you close your pretty little eyes and go on. Go on until I count to 23. Okay? And no cheating. You're cheating today, you're no one. One, two, three, what are you doing? four. Don't open your eyes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. I believe it shriveled my pie. <laughs> well, it wouldn't get no business today anyway. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Gus? Yeah? I'd go with you to California. If you was ever mind to. You would, would you? I would, I know. Uh huh. Well, I'm complimented, mighty complimented. Let's go then, all right? Jake can take his own chances. I can't, honey. I'm bound for Ogallala. Hey. Ogallala? Where is that? Somewhere up in Nebraska. What's there? A woman named Claire. She's the only reason I ever come on this trip. You go all the way to Nebraska for a woman? You bet. I'm a woman and I'm right here. You can have your folks if that's all it is. Well, I strike your deal. We both make it to Denver. I'll buy you a ticket on the train to San Francisco. Now then, would you mind going over there and getting my pistol for me? I see a fella coming. I don't know whether he's friendly or not. It's like an Indian. Well, how can you tell? Well, Indians got their own way of riding, you see. This one's a... set an old Mexican saddle with a silver concho on it. I reckon he stole it. Maybe even killed for it. No. I shot me the assassin bandit with just my pistol. Don't hide yourself out of this stuff, huh? Gus. I'll be all right. You go on.
like the water. Help yourself. I hope you like it cold, because I ain't got time to warm it up for you. I like it wet. I know you, McRae. In the old days. I know you too, Blue Duck. Where's your friend? Call. He ain't here just now. It's my bad luck he's gone. If I kill you, then I would have to wait here to kill him too. He'll be back shortly. You can sit over there in the shade and wait, if you're able, after you and me get through. There's plenty others need killing besides you two. I can't wait all day just to shoot two wore-out old rangers with holes in their underwear. A fine saddle you took off of some dead Mexican. With a little luck, it'll last another mile or two, maybe. If you ever bring that damned old tongue of yours north of the Canadian River, I'll cut it off and eat it to my wolf pups. Comanchero Butcher. We should have hung years ago. But we couldn't because he was better at riding long distances without water than we was. But he may be after our horses, so I better go warn Carl. Come on with me now. No, I ain't going. I don't like the way them cowboys look at you. Well, you girls sure are hard on the boys that love you. Any one of them over there's got a truer heart than Jake Spoon. I ain't gonna go, go. I left all that behind me when I left Lonesome Duck. Well, darn it, Lori, I don't like leaving you uh, here with Blue Duck around. Jake will be back soon. Oh, now it's Jake again. Well, you were the one who said something about going to Ogallala after some woman, didn't you? Still got enough light to track him to see where he went. Yeah. I'm gonna send somebody over here to stay with you till Jake gets back. It'll be just a few minutes, because the herd's only about a mile away. All right. in the area. Blue Duck? Oh, Lord. So it's Blue Duck? Hell yes, I'm sure. I just exchanged pleasantries with the man. Go on, Newt. Well, yes, sir. I'll be glad to take on the chore. No doubt you would, but we need you here. Now, get moving, Newt. You know where she is? Yes, sir. Why didn't you shoot him, Vince Blue Duck? Well, he was ready. He would have been touch and go which one of us got killed. But me and Deets were going to track him. I think he may be circling to, to steal our horse. All right, you boys best get on back with the herd now. Make damn sure you got your pistols with you. Wouldn't surprise me now to see old Blue Duck coming right in here with a gang. I don't like to sit on that boy over at that horse. Well, if I'd have sent one of these other rowdies, Jake would probably come back and shoot him. But he ain't going to shoot Newt. Well, she should have stayed in Lonesome Dove in the county. Well, if you was a young guy with your whole life before you, would you want to stay in Lonesome Dove? Now, Maggie done it. Look how long she lasts. She would have died anywhere. She just happened to die in Lonesome Dove, that's all. Ah, God, Woodrow, you just don't ever get the point, do you? It ain't dying I'm talking about. It's living. That's good, folks, Campo. That's all right. Okay. 
Let's see here, Newt. Um, howdy, Miss Lorena. Uh, Miss Wood, howdy. Oh, um, hello there, Miss Wood. I'm, I'm Newt. Mr. Gus sent me over here to keep an eye on you. I hope you don't mind. He didn't come out anywhere on this side that I can see. I don't find no tracks here neither. He must have stayed in the creek. He might have doubled back. him in a crate. What in the hell is Newt doing back? I told him to stay over there. Newt ain't back. It's his horse. It's back. Gus! What in the hell happened to you? Somebody hit me. All right, Gus, where's Laurie? I know you're hiding her over here from me somewhere. Blue Duck. Blue Duck. Oh, he's got her. That half-breed's around here? It's my fault for not shooting the son of a bitch when I had a chance. Ho, Campo? Yep. I'm gonna need some fresh water. Lippy, grab me a box of bullets from the wagon there. I'm going with you, Gus. This ain't none of your affair, you darn pup. I ain't no pup. And you're a gambling lowlife to let her get stolen. My God, we'll see about that. We'll see about that right now. Hey, you boys hold that right there. I ain't gonna have it. Roll me a horse. Mine's rolled down. You ain't going either, Jake. Not with me, you ain't. I'll call for damn please. She's my woman. You should have stayed closer to her if she's your woman. The hell with you. The hell with the whole bunch of you. You heard him, Jake. He don't want you. You were sent to watch her, huh? Well, I'd say you done a damn poor job of it. You ain't worth your dirt wages. I'd have give you a lick or two. <laughs> Not another word, Jake. It ain't that boy's fault. You're the one that went off to town. Drake and gamble. You watch yourself, Augustus. Drink so fast, you found her. Oh, 
Well, Monkey John will like that yellow hair. Between him and the others, he'll probably get most of their money and all of their hides when they see you. I hope that damned old ranger hurries along. I owe him a few. Russ? He won't come. I ain't his. He's coming. I don't know if it's for me or for you, but he's coming. got a treatment for women that try to run away. Cut a little hole in their stomachs. Pull out a gut and wrap it around a limb. And I drag them 30 or 40 feet and tie them down. That way, I can watch what the coyotes are having for supper. She ain't free. Understand? We got eyes to try. And horses. And horses. You damned old runt. <laughs> My God, we give all them hats for her. She oh. ain't ought to talk. Even I say talk. Oh. It's getting your money's worth. Most of those hides were mine anyway. Step right off her. Oh. I just want her cut. Hey! That's Campbell. I ain't had a game in a while. What with? You already got our hides and the horses. Good. One her. She's there. We don't want to gamble with her. She's just half yours. Her moke and his boys own a half interest. Oh, mm -hmm. we're aiming to buy them out. By the time you raise the money, won't be much left to buy. You'd do better to buy a goat. We don't want no damn goat. That's Campbell. We want the woman. If you win, i let you have your horses back. Come on, Bobby. Come on. Come on, Bobby. Go ahead. Oh, oh, no. Come on. Oh, no. What's wrong with him? He don't care about the horses. He wants to keep the woman. That damn chigger is holding up the game. I got lot is cheap up here on the Canadian. It's apt to get cheaper. That's gamble.
that guy win again. You're a damn cheat. First you cheat us out of our horses, and then you cheat us out of the woman. I don't want the woman. You can have her back as a gift. And the horses, too. Mm. There's an old man following me. I want you to kill him. You hear that, Ermok? You kill the man, you can have your horses back, and the woman, too. <laughs> we take the woman. The hell you will. She's half iron. You ain't taking her nowhere. You shut up. Or I'll kill you like I kill that sugar. If I were you, I'd get sober. I'm gonna show you some tough. <laughs> Hell, you ain't hit him yet. I'll get him. He ain't got any words to go. Has he? <laughs> God, that's enough. That is enough. <laughs> Look at that. Is he shooting at us? He can't hit nobody from there. He's just wasting his bullets. Maybe an old man like you needs a better target.
Pretty worried about Mr. Gus, ain't he? Me too. I get to expecting to hear him talk. He ain't here. My ears start to get empty. Mr. Gus could be all right. Maybe so. But he will not catch Blue Duck. Do you know him, Pope Campo? Yes, I know him. I once lived up on Liliano. He killed my three sons. After that, I left Liliano. It was all Jake's fault. He's a bastard for leaving her in the first place. That's what started all this. You sure are smitten, ain't you, Dish? Well, I'll tell you this. If she's alive and, and Gus brings her back, well, then I aim to marry her. Marry her? <laughs> marry a whore? Don't go calling her a whore in front of me, Jasper. Well, if you're so in love with her, why don't you go try to fetch her back yourself? Leave Gus here. He's a damn sight more entertaining than you are. So is that whore. Collect your wages first. We're done with it, Captain. Jasper. Yes, sir. I'm done with it, too. Well, boys, let's uh, get on back to the herd, Captain. Don't take much of sitting around. This one I made for you. Well, thank you, Paul. Is it somebody special? Like a little saint. You know who? To help protect you on our journey. Many they is. 
I can go find out. <laughs> you do, and they catch you. They'll make soup out of you. Yeah, I'd like to know what they were shooting at when we rode up. You're shooting me. Hey, easy. I'm Captain Cray, Texas Ranger. I'm coming in. Don't nobody shoot. Howdy. July Johnson. This is uh, Roscoe. Jul July Johnson. I got you, the sheriff from over in Fort Smith, Arkansas, looking for Jake Spoon, ain't you? Well, I have more urgent business than Jake Spoon now. Well, I was about to say, if you're looking for Jake, you missed him by about 300 miles or so. The Indians killed your horse, did they? No, sir. I had to kill him myself to, to make a fort when them Kiowas got after him, you see. But I appreciate you running them all. We just riding by, and they started shooting at us, so we shot back. They're Blue Ducks boys. I'm after him and a woman he stole. Say the man stole a woman? Yes, sir. A girl traveling with us. He probably camped on the river and sent them bucks back to, to kill me. It, it, it's quite a ways north of here, I do believe. Well, our horses are pretty near wore out, but if morning is soon enough, we'll help you track this outlaw. There, see it? Right there. That'd be them. They don't know it, but the wrath of the Lord's about to descend on it. Come Sunday. I best go with you. Don't know how many there are. Thank you. All I need is a loan of a horse, and I'll have him back for breakfast and maybe a few others to boot. You mean to go at them by yourself? There might be ten of them down there. Maybe even more. They scare easy at night. I just hope Mr. Duck's there. I intend to kill him. Look, I can be of some help. I'd rather you stay with the party, Mr. Johnson. Get these two young people to look after. Well, Roscoe can stay. Well, it's kind of chancy. So you might stop a bullet. Never get to finish that urgent business you mentioned. Well, that urgent business is my wife. She left home. Look, I know it's unlikely, but it might be that she got stolen, too. Well, I guess you're no more fool than me chasing a woman across the place. <laughs> I might have got one in them. I don't know. I doubt it. Ah! Oh, I hurt bad. Go ahead. Shoot me. You won't catch me wasting a bullet on you. Monkey can cut your damn throat if he wants to. Uh, he'll die soon enough. Ah! What'd she do? Ah! I said, what'd she do to earn a kick? You mind your own self? Ah! Ah! <laughs> You're not worth selling. The Kiowas can have you. How come you're giving her to the damn Kiowas? Give her to me. No. I want them to carve her up. Uh! Hell, I'll carve her up. Maybe it'll put some spirit in them so they can go out tomorrow and run that old ranger to ground. Hell, I mean, hell, I mean, is there. You better be. If McCray comes, you better be quick. Well, there they are. Have you ever killed Mr. Johnson? No. Well, you do what I do then. Help her. Monkey. Don't let him. I can't hurt. 
Back to people, Mr. Johnson. There's a dangerous man loose on the river, and I doubt your deputy can handle it. I know this is a shock to you, Mr. Johnson. It ain't a barroom scraping Arkansas, so you gotta choke it down and get on back to your people. I'll be alone as soon as this girl can travel. Hmm. Shoot me. Shoot me. Go, Mr. Johnson. Go now! I'll be glad when July gets back. What? I heard something in that brush. Might be an Indian. I'll go see. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I wish July would get on back. It's likely to be morning before they get back. My fault. If I'd have done what you said, they'd still be alive. My God. It's my fault. Hell, yeah, you told me to stay. I know I did, son. I'm sure you wish you had, but yesterday's gone. We can't get it back. Are you going with your digging? And I'll tidy up the day. Try and help. You're better mounted than us. 
think we just gotta let him go this time. Boy, I hate to do that. These lives here lost for good, son. And giving pain for pain ain't gonna bring them back. Best go on and try to find your wife. If I ever run across Blue Duck again, I'll kill him for you. For her, too. Turkey or something for our supper. I'll help you build a fire. I don't need any help. Wait. You take Luke with you. Luke? To be with Sway. I told him we could hunt better if we split up. Well, why ain't you hunting then? I am a hunt. Right here. I'm gonna have a baby, Luke. I can't be doing that. Not for a while yet that you ain't having no baby. I only want a little. It won't take but six minutes, I reckon. If Sway catches you, he'll kill you. Well, boy, he ain't no smarter than a buffalo. I might decide to shoot him. Was he trying to marry you? I guess you can call it that. He was trying to do me. I want him to let me alone. How'd the hunting go his way to shoot a turkey? I got one. Well, that's real good. You want me to go pluck them feathers? No, I don't. I want you just to stay there. I wish you wouldn't be doing this. Sorry, Sway, I won't do it no more, I swear. Next time you go hunting, just make sure he stays with you. He can't pester me if he's with you. No, I think I better go on and kill him for being like this. No, Sway! Don't! Don't! Sway! That's enough! You'll kill him, Sway! Sway! When my name is in these cops, don't! Sway! He's alive. He'll quit it now, won't he? Quit trying to marry you. <laughs> Don't it look funny with that ear hanging off? I'll go pluck that bird now, Luke. Have us some supper to eat. Ten dollars. Spoon? You drink spoon the ranger? I've done some rangering. He's Jake Spoon the Ranger. Never heard of him. You run with McCray and Call. 
Ain't that right? Not anymore, I don't. Gray and Cole. Never met them. I hear they're tough men. Let a half-breed steal my whore. That's how tough they are. You can't find her? They lost her. Let them find her. We're going up to Kansas. Me and my brothers. Frog up there. Kansas, huh? Gonna rob some banks. Ain't that right, Dan? Ain't no objection to robbing banks. Have you spoon? Well, I guess it would depend on the bank. I wouldn't enjoy it if there was too much law stacked against me. Law? Damn! Look, I want my money back. I want to pay. Lenny, you can't squirt your squirt two minutes. You need a doctor, not a horse. Look, I said I want my money back. Made her mad, by God, didn't he? Well, let's go. Some sheriff be poking around here in a minute. Jake, help me drag this fella out from the street. He's messing up my floor. You coming, Spoon? Jake. Let's go, boys. place to the buffalo run out a couple of years ago that ran north every darn one of What I found here, gold coin. There's fives and tens. There's even a handful of $50 gold pieces. That's good luck. Now we can play ourselves some high stakes poker. Huh? Now all that on your side is yours, and all this over here is mine. Idea, but uh, we hadn't bet yet, so we'll try it again. They shouldn't have took me, God.
Now, you, you just go on cry right out. See, you got a long time to live, and you don't want this thing dragging you back, see? So you just cried on that old Gus. You'll be all right here, right here. You're safe now. This is John Criswell. Don't go away. Next on News for Texas, we'll show you how chanting AIDS protesters disrupted the start of the CBS Evening News. And we'll show you the fervent prayers at a Metroplex synagogue tonight following the latest attack on Israel. The war in the Gulf continues. What turns will the battle take next? Join Charles Carrault and Leslie Stahl for full coverage on America Tonight. Stay tuned for your local news.